so this is the fifth problem on composite sections three bars made of zinc copper aluminum are of equal length and have a cross sectional area 500 700 1000 mm square respectively they are rigidly connected at their ends if this compound member is subjected to a longitudinal pull of 250 kN estimate the proportional load carried on each rod and the induced stresses so take ings modulus of copper 1.3 into 10 raise to 5 newton per millimeter square ings modulus of zinc 1 into 10 raise to 5 newton per millimeter square ings modulus of aluminum 0.8 into 10 raise to 5 newton per millimeter square so here there are three sections so one is copper another one is zinc another one is aluminum so area of copper is 500 so that is a c area of copper 500 mm square area of zinc it is 700 mm square so a z it is 700 mm square area of aluminum 1000 mm square so a a l so here it is 1000 mm square so p equals 250 kN so it will be 250 into 10 raise to 3 newton and ings modulus of each material it is given so ings modulus of copper ings modulus of zinc ings modulus of aluminum so in this problem it is required to calculate the load and stresses so load shared by copper so it will be pc load shared by zinc it will be pz load shared by aluminum it will be pal so similarly stresses so stress in copper sigma c stress in zinc sigma z stress in aluminum sigma al clear first list all the given data so next use assumption 1 so strain in both the material is same so here epsilon c equals epsilon z equals epsilon aluminum so there are three materials one is copper zinc aluminum so again strain can be written as stress divided by ings modulus so sigma c divided by ec equals sigma z divided by ez equals sigma a divided by ea so first equate these two terms so first and last term so it is sigma c divided by ec equals sigma a divided by ea so here in this equation so evaluate for sigma c so sigma c equals ec divided by ea into sigma a next equate these two terms this term and this term zinc and aluminum so it will be sigma z divided by ez equals sigma a divided by ea so here 
evaluate for sigma z equals e z divided by e a multiplied by sigma a. So sigma c equals so you know the Young's modulus. So Young's modulus of copper 1.3 into 10 raised to 5 divided by aluminium 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5 into sigma a. So 10 raised to 5, 10 raised to 5 get cancelled. So here sigma c equals 1.625 into sigma a. So this is first equation. Next here. So sigma z equals so E z 1 into 10 raised to 5 divided by E aluminium 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5. So 10 raised to 5, 10 raised to 5 get cancelled. So here sigma z equals sigma z equals 1.25 into sigma a. So this is your second equation. So let me check. So 1.3 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5. So it will be 1.625. So this is 1.625. So next, so next it will be 1 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5. So it will be 1.25. So this will be 1.25. So this is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. Two. This is by using first assumption. So next. Next I will use second assumption. So second assumption will be P equals PC plus PZ plus PA. Clear. So you know the total load. So it is 250 into 10 raised to 3 equals. So load can be written as stress into area sigma c into ac. So plus sigma z into az plus sigma a into a aluminium. So 250 into 10 raised to 3 which is equal to sigma c. So here sigma c can be written as 1.625 times sigma a. So let me substitute the same value. One point six two five into sigma a multiplied by area of copper 500 so plus next to sigma z so here sigma z can be written as so sigma z can be written as 1.25 times sigma a one point two five times sigma a
next to az area of zinc it is 750 plus sigma a into area of aluminium here it is 1000 so 250 into 10 raised to 3 equals so now let me use the calculator one point six two five into five hundred so it will be so it will be eight one two point eight one two point five into sigma a plus so next 1.25 into 750 1.25 into 750 so it will be 937.5 so it will be 937.5 into sigma a plus sigma a into 1000 so next it will be 250 into 10 raised to 3 equals so in all the three terms so common is sigma a so next it will be 812.5 plus 937.5 plus 1000 so you will get sigma a so here 250 into 10 raised to 3 So 812.5 plus 937.5 plus 1000. So it will be 2750. So it will be 2750. So then sigma A will be 250 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 2750. So 250 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 2750. So you will get 90.9. So 90.9 Newton per millimeter square. So this will be sigma A. So that is stress in aluminium stress in aluminium to calculate the stress in copper and zinc so just use this equations so just simply use this equation so sigma C equals 1.625 into sigma A. So that is 1.625 into sigma A will be 90.9. So you will get sigma C. Sigma C as 147.7 Newton per millimeter square. So this is stress in stress in copper. So similarly to find stress in zinc, so use this equation sigma z equals 1.25 into sigma a. So sigma z equals 1.25 into 90.9. So you will get sigma z as 113.62 Newton per millimeter square. So this is stress in stress in zinc. So one part of the problem is over. You have calculated the stresses in each materials. Now it is required to calculate the loads. 
now it is required to calculate the loads so we know that load equals stress multiplied by area you know the stresses and you know the area so if you multiply stress area you will get load so first load shared by copper so p c equals sigma c into a c so sigma c 147.7 multiplied by area of copper 500 so you will get 73850 newton to convert this to kilo newton divided by 1000 so you will get pc as 73.85 kilo newton so this is load shared by copper next similarly load shared by zinc pz equals sigma z into az so sigma z is 113.625 multiplied by az 750 so pz you will get 85218.75 newton same to convert this to kilo newton divided by 1000 so pz equals 85.21 kilo newton so this is load shared by zinc so similarly to calculate load shared by aluminium so p aluminium equals P aluminium equals sigma A multiplied by AA. So sigma A 90.9 multiplied by area of aluminium it is 1000. So you will get PA as 90900 Newton divided by 1000. So PA load shared by aluminium you will get. 90.9 kilo newton clear so this is load shared by each materials see here so your total load it is 250 kilo newton so pc 73.85 kilo newton so plus pz it is 85.21 kilo newton plus pa it is 90.9 kilo newton so after adding all these three you will get or you should get 250 or nearly equal to 250 so let me check 73.85 plus 85.21 plus 90.9 so here it is 249.96 so here it is 249.96 kilo newton so nearly equal to 250 kilo newton This way you can solve the problems on compound stresses. Okay.